Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to design a stunning poster in Canva step by step with a few simple tricks to make your design pop. Whether you are a beginner or designing for clients, this will level up your design skill. Let's get it started. So I have opened a blank page for Instagram poster that is 1080 by 1350. So let me show you that what I have downloaded from Raven website. So you can see I have downloaded these images from Raven website and these are the logos which I'm going to use in this design. So let's get started. So I'm keeping the background really plain that is white. So first what I will do, I will take this image and I'm going to keep this image over here for now like this and I'm going to go on the text and I will start writing the headline. So this is our headline that is be my eyes. So I will change the font for that. So I will go on the font and you can simply write down in search that is Montessor Arabic. So I'm selecting this font. Make sure it is bold. So we have selected the font. Now what I will do, I will decrease the width so that so this will come in the second line. Now I will go over here and select this one and decrease the spacing between first line and second line okay so we can do like this till this point okay now we have decreased the space between first and second line i will increase the size of it like this and i will bring it to the center of that page from left to right okay like this then i will go into the text color then I will select this color. I will write down the exact color code in the description. You can check that out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hide this part of the text behind that image. Okay. Next, we will select the text and go to position and bring it to the back of that image. Okay. So our design will look something like this. Next, what we will do, we will come over here and go to the element. And over here, we will write down chat bubble then go to photos in photos we have to select this one so after selecting that one we just have to remove the background first and go to flip and flip it horizontal like this then decrease the size of it like this and we have to bring this one over here like this now it's done so what we are going to do Next, we are going to apply the shadow effect over here. So we will go to edit. Then we will select the shadow. In shadow, we are going to select drop. So you can see after applying the drop shadow, the shadow has been already applied, but you can make the changes a bit like adjust the blur. So we will keep like this. You can change the angle, but it's already perfect. You can change the distance. Let's decrease the intensity a little bit. Let's keep it 35 and done. Okay. Next, what we will do, we will duplicate the same text, but next we are going to change the black color and we are going to remove the bold. Okay. Next, we are going to write, hey, meta. Okay. So this is the text which we are going to use inside that chat bubble. Okay. So we will keep it around here like this like this okay so let's keep it like this you can make a little bit of adjustment so go over here in advanced setting and give a little bit of a spacing between the letters and also between both the lines like this okay now it's looking perfect you can adjust a bit let's keep it over here so this part has been done next we will go in the bottom part of the poster and we will First, take this image and bring it to the first page. So as you can see over here, it is having the background. So first thing we will do, we will remove the background. So the background has been removed. Next, we will adjust these like this. Let's keep it till this point like this. And we are going to go into the edit and adjustment over here i'm gonna decrease the saturation minus 100 because i just wanted black and white okay? like this next what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna select the image go to a stroke style and i'm gonna select the first one 
but I'm gonna take the stroke weight to only okay next I'm gonna select the stroke color over here I'm gonna apply the same red color okay so we have applied the stroke like this but one more thing I have to do that is go to corner rounding and increase it so I'm just keeping it uh, 20 for now so that is also done so we can increase the size of it little bit like this and we can bring it on this side okay like this so let's keep it around here so anytime you're not happy with anything you can definitely make the changes so let's select all of these and increase it little bit like this okay we will bring it to the bottom little bit and uh, this one also increase the size of it a bit and bring it closer to that image okay? like this let's keep it over here so we can increase the size a little bit more like this and we can keep it closer like this yeah like this and we can select all of them and adjust like that. now it's perfect so this part is also done so we are going to add little bit of thing over here so so for that we'll go to elements and in elements you have to go to shapes and we will go over here and select this one and first we will apply the red color like this and i'm gonna use the same and bring it over here and adjust it like this so whenever you are decreasing the size of it you can see the corner rounding is increasing so on that case you just have to select it and go over here and adjust it okay so we are taking only 20 for everything right now like this okay so let me zoom so i will use this one like this little bit like this so let's keep it like this so this is done so what we will do we will just select this one and go to position bring it back to that image again we will duplicate and bring it over here okay like this make sure you keep the same distance over here on both the side and adjust perfectly okay so keep it like this and again go to position and bring it back to that image okay so right now our design is looking like this so i'm creating this design in canva and while we are at it i wanted to quickly share another tool that's been a game changer for me especially when you need to create presentation fast it's called aippt.com basically it's an ai powered tool that takes your prompt not document or even url and automatically generates professional ppt slides you can customize the layout font and color basically everything you would normally spend our doing let's showcase ai ppt's latest and most exciting feature dynamic slides i uploaded a pdf doc and i can customize the number of pages language style and more ai ppt instantly create a clean outline compared with the ppt generation of genspark manos and pop ai they have more than two lakh set of templates after generating the ppt you can add text box images number list etc with a single click and ppt will automatically adjust the spacing and adapt height to maintain a consistency well-organized layout the new dynamic slides feature AI text to image generation, creating images that match your text. For example, design related text will result in slide containing C design related images. It's really helpful if you are pressed for time or have a ton of content to organize. I was honestly stressed about a big presentation earlier this week, but AI PPT turned hours of work into just a few minutes and it looks super professional. It's a little secret for anyone who want to level up their slide without spending forever on them. If you want to try it yourself, I have added the link in my pinned comment. You can even use 6 free users without adding your card and use my discount code to get additional 10% off. Definitely check it out while you are working on your designs. Alright, now back to Canva. Let's add these finishing touches to the design to make it pop. So why I'm doing this because I have to write few things about the glasses over here okay so for that we will go to text and select one font but for this one i'm gonna select the different font so this font is neo mckenna 
so we will select the font and now we will decrease the size of it and we will start writing whatever i have to add over here but we are going to change the color for this so i am selecting the background color that is white now i will write down so i have written the text over here but i will make the adjustment first i will go to alignment and align it on the left side next i will select the advanced settings and decrease the space between first and second line like this okay next we will do we will decrease the size of it a bit and bring it over here like this do the adjustment let's keep it like this okay so that is done i think it's perfect over here next we will duplicate and bring it on this side because here also we are going to write few things about the class so let's keep it over here and write down like this let's keep it over here and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select this font and this time duplicate it and bring it to this part okay so i'm gonna write 12 mp okay 12 megapixel i have written then i will bold it and bring it to this part like this okay even you can increase the size of it a bit like this yeah so this part is done now we have to do everything over here for this poster so next we are going to select both the logos and bring it to the first page and we will adjust them together okay so let me select this one and apply the corner rounding over here so because when you are applying the same thing it will look professional okay so let's keep it 20 for now like this little bit closer to the meta logo okay like this decrease the size of it a bit let's keep it aligned with this and over here like this otherwise we can select these and adjust them over here otherwise just select all of them and bring it to the center of the page from left to right like this okay. canva will automatically help you to align okay so the align so this is done next we will go to elements and select this one again and over here we are going to use this one but this time we are going to use the shape differently so for that we will go to colors and just use the no color okay so I'm going to use the stroke only. So for that, we will select this one and we are using two for everything. So you have to remember that. Okay. So for the color, we are using the red one like this. Okay. So this is also done. Now we will align this one with the logo. Okay. But on the top, we will align that one with the top of this one. Okay. So like this, it will be done. We will decrease the size of it for now and i'm gonna use the three of them over here okay so this is the first this is the second and this is the third one okay so make sure all of them are on the same line like this okay so this is also done but we are going to decrease the corner rounding like this let's keep it 20 as we are keeping all of them 20 this one also 20 this one also 20 so that is also done so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna increase the size of it till this point and this one little bit smaller and this one more smaller like this okay next what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select this font and duplicate but here we are going to change the text color that is black okay so i'm gonna write the text for all of them okay so i have written down the text now we will align the text inside the box so let's increase the size of that box a bit like this and this one will go over here like this okay and this one will go over here like this okay like this next we will go to elements and search for touch screen 
okay and we will go to graphics and in graphics we will select this one okay make sure you are selecting the same black color for all of them like this and we are going to decrease the size of it and rotate it okay like this and decrease the size of it like this and bring it on this side and let's align that one first and we will make the adjustment okay now select both of them with the help of shift button and adjust that one okay that is done next we will go over here and write down speaker okay so we are going to select the speaker icon so over here we will select this one and make sure the color is same like this but decrease the size of it like this and we will keep it over here and we are going to select both of them align like this last one we are going to use the battery so we are going to use this one and rotate it like this decrease the size of it and bring it on this side like this do the adjustment line it and select both of them align it like this now we have done everything and our design is totally ready and that's how you can design an eye-catching poster in canva if you found this helpful don't forget to like subscribe and check the description for the ai ppt link See you in the next one. Till then, keep designing smart with Toshi.